So the last couple of cars that I featured on this channel had highly strung, naturally aspirated engines. But what if you don't want to always have to floor it and work to get all of that top in power? What if you want all of your power at the bottom of the rev range so that way you can easily sneak away from the lights? Well, maybe you need to stop looking in the old school high revving Japanese market and start looking in the modern American one. This is a 2018 Ford Focus ST and I think it's one of the coolest looking modern hot hatchbacks today. I mean, just look at this color, it's begging you for its attention, especially with those ginormous rims and brakes. The Ford Focus ST is one of the many performance variants of the Ford Focus that exist. Let me put it this way, think of the Ford Focus ST as the equivalent to the Honda Civic Si. You can easily tell apart Focus ST from a normal Ford Focus by a couple of things. Number one, you do get red ST badges in both the front and the rear of the vehicle. It also comes with 18 inch rims and it comes with disc brakes all around which happen to have red painted calipers so that way it really does stand out and let you know that it's a performance vehicle. Because it's a performance variant, I should mention that the vehicle only comes with a 6-speed manual transmission. So, if you don't know how to drive stick shift yet, now would be a great time to start learning. We managed to climb into the cockpit of the 2018 Ford Focus ST. You may notice that a lot of the structure is quite similar to a normal Focus, but for those of you who are car enthusiasts, you'll notice a couple of things. The first being how tight the seats are. Now, if you checked in my Celica video, you'll notice that I had trouble getting into the car because of my notorious big sized gut. It's a similar issue here, but not because there's a lack of space up in the cockpit. It's actually very spacious. That's because this vehicle has the optional Recaro leather and cloth bucket seats, and they really do hug your hips and your torso into place. So that way, when you're cornering, you won't be moving around and flopping about like I was in the Toyota Celica. The next thing you notice is you do have this unique flat bottom steering wheel here with the ST badge on it. You will also have three different gauges up here. One of them discussing your oil temperature, the next one discussing your boost pressure, and then the last one discussing your oil pressure. Some things that a focused driver will want to keep track of when he's tearing up the back roads. You'll also notice that the owner of this car has done some slight modifications. Now, first one here simply puts a nice cob shifter. It gives it a much more comfortable feel and it's easier to kind of throw your gears into place. And the second one, you can't actually see, but it's down here. And he's done some spacing modifications to the gas pedal. And what it does is it pushes the gas pedal forward and puts it on the same plane as your other two pedals. And it makes it much easier to heel toe when you need to slow down for fast driving. And finally, you may notice that there is a radar detector sitting here in this car and it's like one of the last modifications in this interior. And that's because the driver and owner of this vehicle told me that after his third speeding ticket, he decided it was going to be his last one. So the car does entice you to drive it quite rapidly. However, is it any good when you are driving at that speed? The only way to find out at this point is for me to get behind the wheel and see for myself. So here I am, finally inside the 2018 Focus ST for a drive. First thing you notice compared to the other last two vehicles that I you, like I said before, they had highly strong naturally aspirated engines. So the Ford Focus ST 2018 model here comes with a 2 liter single turbocharged inline 4 engine capable of 252 horsepower and 270 pound feet of torque. And when you really put your foot down, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, low in power. This is something that I really miss driving around in the Celica. It's like, it's so easy to just 
pull away from the light or it has so much low-end torque that it's really easy to overtake people on the highway you know you just got to get past those slow knowing Prius drivers all right so we're going down the back road now and I'm about to hit some corners talk about the handling prowess of the Ford Focus ST now this vehicle by modern standards is relatively light it weighs 3223 pounds and I can already tell you that the springs feel a bit stiffer than the 2015 Civic Si, which means that the car actually feels a bit more planted when you're going around these back roads. Although I do have to say, the steering, it's not quite as direct as that car, but you definitely feel a lot more of what's going on underneath you, and that makes the driving experience much more pleasurable. So. Despite this car's good handling, when you do start pushing the vehicle to the limits, you might notice that there's slightly less curve around the corners, and you feel it slightly sliding at the front, and that's because Ford decided that this vehicle doesn't need a limited slip differential. Now, why would you do that, Ford? I have no idea, but some of this vehicle's competitors do actually have a limited slip differential like the 2018 Honda Civic Si as well as the brand new Hyundai Veloster N. Oh yeah, you really just have to... <laughs> I mean, what can I say? This car is a lot of fun. So the Focus ST definitely takes one of the hot hatch categories which has been a fun sporty vehicle to drive around. However, with it being a hot hatchback, that means it also must be good at being a daily and practical vehicle. So I had my friend Dan, the owner of this vehicle, tell me a little bit about why he decided to buy it. My buddy Dan over here, thanks for letting me borrow the car. No problem. Why don't you go ahead and tell the viewers why he decided to buy this vehicle. Um, I pretty much bought it uh, because... The, pretty much because the WRX didn't come in a hatchback, if I'm being 100% honest. Um, I liked I liked the practicability of the Focus. I had a Mini Cooper, which I could fit like seven people. I could fit a sousaphone in it and my trombones. Um, so it's like I love that practicality of a hatchback. And uh, I would have chosen the WRX if it came in a hatch, but... but interesting, interesting. Are there any other specific reasons for this vehicle, or is that basically it? Um, well, I mean, the, uh... I was looking at, uh, Fiesta ST, because it, I test drove one, and it drove fairly similarly to my, uh, Mini Cooper when I had it. Um, but I decided that I didn't really want another car like my Mini Cooper. If I wanted another Mini Cooper, I'll just buy a Mini Cooper. Um, so I figured I'll just go for the, the brute force. Focus has the ST2 package, which has the leather and cloth Recaro bucket seats. It also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Keep in mind, these are also available on the ST3 package. So, at this point, you may be thinking, wow, Focus ST, that's, that's a great car. You might be like, I'm the kind of guy or girl that needs a vehicle like that for my daily needs and for my sporting and driving needs. So, where can I buy my new? You see, the issue is, you can't actually buy a new Ford Focus ST anymore, or any Focus or Fiesta variants, for that matter, that includes Fiesta ST and the Focus RS models. And that's because Ford thought it was a good idea to axe all of the cars from the American market, with the exception of the Ford Mustang, which means that from now on they are only building crossovers, SUVs, utility trucks, and different variants of the Mustang. And that's really a shame. I actually really did enjoy driving the 2018 Ford Focus ST, and now it's one of my favorite hot hatchbacks. You see, in Europe, they already have 
a new version of both the Ford Fiesta ST and the Ford Focus ST. And the biggest issue I have with the Focus ST is that the lack of the differential up front can make the handling a bit questionable when the car is being put through its paces. The new Focus ST over in Europe now has an e-differential. It's a shame we won't be getting it over here. However, you still can buy a used one, and if you do decide to buy a used one, make sure you check all of the maintenance records. Make sure that the car has been well taken care of. If it's been tuned, you're going to want to make sure that it's been tuned properly, because without having it been tuned by professionals, your engine may have been damaged in the process, and these cars are popular for modding. Something to keep in mind 